On Friday, the federal pause on student loans ends three years after it began. So for countless Iowans, this pause was a welcome relief from the hardships of the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah, Local 5's Larissa Millis joins us this morning with what your family needs to know ahead of that expiration. Yeah, guys, good morning. In June, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that President Joe Biden did not have the authority to cancel student loan debt for millions of borrowers. With that ruling, the federal pause on payments would also come to an end 60 days following that decision, which is this Friday. Throughout the pause, not only were payments not required, interest was also halted. Now interest will start once again on Friday with payments starting in October. Student loan financial experts say borrowers should be prepared by making sure they know who their loan servicer is. Their interest is already starting to accrue and their first payment will be due in October. So they need to get ready for that. Now the most important thing they can do is contact their loan servicer. McCullough also says it's important if people don't know who their servicer is to go to studentaid.gov, which has a service to show people their servicer. Shortly after the Supreme Court decision, the Biden administration did announce the Saving on a Valuable Education or SAVE plan, which they say will transform student loan payments. It calculates someone's monthly payment based on income and family size. For example, someone who makes only $15 an hour would have a $0 monthly payment. And Larissa, we also understand that the save plan impacts interest, right? Yeah, that's correct. With the save plan, anyone who makes their monthly payment on time, they will not have to pay their unpaid interest. So for example, if a borrower has $50 in interest that accumulates each month and their payment is $30 per month, the remaining $20 would not be charged so long as they make that original $30 monthly payment. Samantha. Thank you, Larissa.